Hey guys, Adobe Soap here, and today I want to share with you guys three amazing applications. Now, two of these are going to be utilities to help improve the user experience, and one of these is going to be a game. Every month I try to make one of these episodes to try to help you discover new apps within the App Store, because the App Store is kind of cluttered, and a lot of people can't even find what they need. So hopefully these videos are helping. I try to make them once a month. Let's begin. So the first application goes by the name of Launcher. Now, Launcher has two versions. It has a light in a pro version but both are free at the current point in time so links are going to be in the description grab it while you can now this application allows you to create shortcuts on the notification center works with ios 10 and also ios 11. you go here to the widgets scroll all the way down click edit right here is where you're going to find the extension that you want to add for this application so if i want the magic applications that's the extension i want to add I'm going to go ahead and move it to the top here and then click done. Now, once I click done, I can tap into the magic application extension here. It's going to bring me into the application. Now I can add any application that I wish to the notification widget. Now you also have magic launcher options here where you have calendars that you can set. You also have different kinds of clocks and things like that. Uh, you also have the additional options here under the applications to use applications extensions. So things with inside applications. So if I set the messages application, I can go ahead and set compose a new message as a shortcut. I can also set the application itself. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now when I launch uh, the widget here, just a quick launch, I can launch the application directly from uh, the notification center. Again, if you choose to do the extension for the application, it's going to bring you directly to the composer for the messages. So you guys kind of get the idea. The same thing applies for browser and contacts. So you can call your favorite contacts faster directly from the widget. Now, not only is the widget available, of course, from the top, but you can also swipe to the left and it's going to be there as well. Now, a few weeks back, someone asked me how to get Safari browser on the Apple Watch. Now, there's other methods to do this, but it requires a lot of hacking. There's an application in the App Store that allows you to sort of do this. You can't really interact with the website, but you can load a website directly on your Apple Watch. So if you want to reload something constantly, come back to it and check, and you don't want to pull your phone out of your pocket, you can do this with WebABit. Now, this application allows you to create a shortcut to any web page, and then it will allow you to access this within your Apple Watch. So if I go here to safari and i want to go to uh, apple.com let's say i want to go to apple's website here once i load the apple website i can go here and click the share options and right here you're going to find the extensions for web a bit now this application will automatically bookmark that and when you go to your apple watch once you have the application enabled let me go ahead and take my apple watch off it's a little easier to show you this way I can go here into the app switcher of my Apple Watch and it's going to load the application on the Apple Watch. And as you can see there, it gives me the two options that I have with the application web a bit right there. I have the apple.com uh, and then I have the web a bit user guide. So click on the apple.com and it's going to take me directly to the website. It's going to load it again. You can't interact with the website and at first it could take some time to load up depending on the Apple Watch that you have in your connectivity. But once it's loaded, it refreshes quite quick. So you can see right there is the website. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. There it is, the Apple website directly on the Apple Watch. So pretty cool stuff. You can go ahead and reload this website. Again, you can't really interact with the elements, but it's a useful way to have a web page on your Apple Watch that you want to reload constantly. And last but not least, I want to share a puzzle game. You guys already know I like puzzle games to challenge the brain. Slide tetrometer. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I'm pretty sure I screwed that up. So slide tetrometer, I guess that's how you say it. Anyway, here's the game. It's a puzzle game. There's a key inside of an ice cube. You want to slide this down. It gives you a little tutorial at first on how to do it. And then you want to get this ice right here towards the fire and release the key. Now, it's very easy at first. The first couple of levels are gonna be very, very simple. But once you get towards the fifth and sixth level, it starts getting very, very complicated, very challenging for the mind. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Check out the applications. Link will be in the description down below. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.